AI is making it harder for all of us to know what to trust in this election cycle. According to the FCC, three quarters of Americans say they are concerned about misleading political content generated by artificial intelligence. Recently, I talked with a renowned AI researcher who is calling for greater restrictions and laws to help us sort out what's real from what's not. From images made to look like Taylor Swift was endorsing Donald Trump for president. I, Kamal Harris, and your Democrat candidate for president. To this message shared on X by Elon Musk that went viral with a message. I was selected because I am the ultimate diversity hire. That was altered to sound like the voice of Vice President Kamala Harris. I had four years under the tutelage of the ultimate deep state puppet, a wonderful mentor, Joe Biden. They both have one thing in common. In some ways, right, you absolutely see deep fakes or sometimes cheap fakes uh, being employed to cause uh, confusion, to confuse uh, voters. And this is why biometric rights are so important. Dr. Joy Bolamwini is a noted AI expert, author about unmasking AI, and founder of the Algorithmic Justice League. My work addressing the root causes of the border crisis were catastrophic. She says greater protections around the use of our voice or images would make it harder for them to be manipulated. We're also seeing the technology continue to improve where it's harder and harder to distinguish what's real and what's fake. During January's New Hampshire primary, it's important that you save your vote for the November election. Thousands of voters received a robocall that mimicked President Joe Biden's voice. Republicans have been trying to push nonpartisan and Democratic voters to participate in their primary. What a bunch of malarkey. It falsely suggested their vote would not matter and urged Democrats not to vote. A Democratic consultant working for a rival candidate commissioned the AI-generated call. There are now restrictions on robocalls. And in the last two weeks, the FCC has moved forward with a proposal to require disclosures of AI-generated content in political ads. But Dr. Joy says this first step doesn't quite go far enough. Because it's not enough to tell me this is bad content, right? You need to also say this content is harmful in these ways. So this is why you actually need comprehensive laws and legislation that give real restrictions about the use of other people's uh, likeness, particularly for something as high stakes as elections. Until then, as we get closer to election day, she's urging all of us to be on guard with what we see and hear. When voting this November, it is important to see what can be. In the race for the White House. You ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> And Dr. Joy wants the government to pass a Bill of Rights to protect our biometric data and ban the use of these manipulated ads going forward. The FCC says half the states in the United States have laws to regulate the use of AI and deep fake technology in elections. Their proposal would bring some uniformity.